Now that you know how geospatial data sets are stored on your computer, let's see what the data look like. This task will introduce you to QGIS Desktop. QGIS Desktop is the application you'll use for setting up and making maps and conducting GIS analyses. On screen, it's divided into two main sections, the table of contents where your layers will be displayed and the map canvas where the map will be displayed. Let's add some data. QGIS has add data buttons for each major geospatial data model, vector and raster. This is the add raster data button and this is the add vector data button. I'll click the add vector data button and then I'll click Browse to open the OGR-supported vector layer window. OGR is a FOS4G project whose sole purpose is to read and write geospatial vector data files. Notice that there is a file format filter on the lower right-hand side. It defaults to Esri shape files, but can read and write many, many different file formats. We'll leave it at Esri shape files, navigate to our Lab2 data folder, and select Hawaii counties. Click open and open to have the data added to the map. Now we'll examine the attributes. I'll simply right click on the layer in the table of contents and from the context menu choose open attribute table. This is similar to what you saw in QGIS browser in task 1. You can simply hit the column header to sort the records. This makes it very easy to find data when you have a large table. And for now, we'll just close the table. Another way to interact with both the spatial features and the attributes is the Identify button. This is a tool designed to interact with a map. So if I click on a feature, the Identify Results window opens, and I'm presented with the column headers on the left-hand side, and the values on the right hand side. So you see those values change as I click on different features on the map. This is a very efficient way to look at the attributes for a layer on the map. So I'll click close. Now let's add some raster data. I'll click the add raster data button. And this opens the Google supported raster data source window. Whereas QGIS used OGR to open vector data files, here it uses another FOS4G project called Google. Google is another software library that QGIS uses. It's a software package for reading and writing raster data sets. Notice that it too has a file format filter, which is even more extensive. There are many more raster file formats than vector. I'll set this to ERDAS JPEG 2000 navigate to my data folder, and select the Oahu Landsat image, and click Open. This data set only covers a portion of Hawaii, just the island of Oahu. I can easily zoom into this layer by right-clicking on it in the table of contents and choosing Zoom to Layer Extent from the Context menu. QGIS Desktop also has a browser window. By right-clicking on the blank space, to the right of the help menu, you're presented with a context menu that shows all the toolbars and panels that can be added to the QGIS interface. I'll check the box for browser, and a browser tab is added to the table of contents. Data is often stored deep inside a series of folders. It's often tedious and time consuming to access the data. But notice that there's an item in here called favorites. Favorites provide a way to create a shortcut directly to any folder so that you have one-click access to that folder. So I'll navigate to our lab folder, right-click on it, and from the context menu, choose Add as Favorite. Now you'll see it appear under Favorites, and I can expand it here and get direct access to the data. And another way that I can add data to my map is to drag it from the browser window onto the map. So I'll select the state routes layer, drag it onto the map. Let me go back to my layers tab and turn off the satellite image. And you'll see that now roads have been added to the map as well. This is a quick way to add data to your map. 
In this lab, you've explored data sets that use the two common geospatial data models, Vector and Raster. QGIS Browser is used to preview data sets, and QGIS Desktop is used to make maps and perform analyses.